welcome uh, to this short presentation on how to digitize an image with the help of open source GIS software. Here in this short video, we will discuss how we can create interactive maps from static images of a map of an area or a location. We will also know about the way we can create shapefile, the way we can create point shapefile, polygon shapefile, and how to display name of the locations on the uh, interactive map, or how to display the annual average temperature on that map. So all these uh, I will try to explain in a very short video. So let us begin. So in this case, we will use uh, uh, an open source software known as map.gis. It is freely available in the internet. You have to type uh, map.window.org and download the software from there. And after downloading, uh, this logo will, uh, will be shown in your desktop and when you click on the logo, the map window software will open. Uh, you see, this is the start screen of the software. Now, uh, here are all the toolbox that you can use for, uh, for doing different functions or creating different function related to GIS. All the toolboxes are given here. Uh, these are the legends where all the images or the shape files or grid files that you will create in a project will be displayed. And these are all different uh, tabs uh, which have their own specific functions. So here uh, I will show that how to create an interactive map, GIS map, from a static image. So our first step will be to import the image into the software. So for that, what you have to do is you have to click on this add layer tab. Or it is better to directly import the image of the map as all the image, that means all the photographs in your uh, computer or in your mobile is a raster image. So you click on add raster layer. By raster image, I mean all the geographical features, all the information displayed by the image is through a uniform dimension or uniformly dimension boxes, square boxes, which displays different information related to the different geographical features represented by the that image. So I will click on the add raster layer and then I will select, uh, you can select any image in JPG, PNG, TIA format. So for, for this purpose, uh, let us go for an image, let me see which image we can create, okay, so Let me see which you can take. Any image you can take, there is no restriction. But I want to take a I want to take an image of a map. So I am searching for a map that I can take. So let us take this map. So this is the map of the northeast India. 
It's a little hazy, but for our exam though, it is okay. Uh, so we will try to digitize this part of the map. Uh, what we want to do is we want to show the name of the location on the map. And also we want to display the temperature of all the, uh, this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7 states in the northeast India. So how to, first our objective is how to display the name of the states. So let us see how we can do it. For this, first we have to create a point shape. So go to create layer, click on it, give it a name. And as layer type, select point. Here there will be four different types of layers. One is point, which is used to display name of the location or something which is which which can be described with the help of a singular point. Say name of the location, population of the location, temperature of the location, etc. Polyline is used to digitize the rivers, roads. Uh, ETC, uh, geographical features. Polygon is used to digitize watershed areas, specific area in the state, lakes, etc. So let us begin with point. And we can save it here. So let us save it in the uh, test folder. Now your point shape file has been created. Now you have to create the point geometries. That means under this point shape file, you can create different points to represent different information. So let us create the geometry, point geometry, to represent name of the location. You can create only one geometry to represent different types of information. So let us see how we can do it. Click on Add Geometry and here just click on the middle of the state because I want to show the name of the location here. And once you click it, you see uh, ID will be created and as it is the first one, so they have given it 0. In the second one, they will give it 1 and so on. So just click OK. And then again click on Ashram, you see they have assigned ID 1 to the second point geometry. After that, Arunachal Pradesh. After that, this Nagaland. And Mizoram. Then Tripura. So in this way. Seven states of Northeast India is, is digitized such that we can display the name of the location on this map. Now, to show the name of the location, we go to that shape file, right click, and select table editor. Okay, so here you see all the shape files, each geometry has been assigned a separate row such that you can represent different types of information uh, relative to those locations. So these seven rows represent the seven states. Now let us see how to show the location, name of the location. For that we will create a field. Click on field and then to add field. Give it a name. Okay. Name or just say state name. And then give it a alias state. Okay. As the name of a state will uh, hold a non numerical values only. So we will use this string. So for 